what is going on baddies and daddies queen baddie here coach baddie is here and we have hot seat y'all let me tell y'all my setup is a little wiggly today <laughs> my setup is a little wiggly today but if if she falls she falls no <laughs> if she falls she falls all right so quick little update everyone oh my goodness oh wait for some people who don't know hey this is the hot seat weekly instagram live where i ask nasty naughty freaky deaky questions i ask some wholesome questions too all right <laughs> I'll, i i wholesome questions will be thrown in there maybe i'm not sure depending on my energy because i have portia coming on today from free proetic aka proetic sexology listen we're keeping the name okay look <laughs> we, we're keeping the name all right <laughs> Bump Instagram in their freaking guidelines. <laughs> All right, but yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Come on in. So, I'm literally, you know what I realize? I think I start, I don't think I start each one of my lives putting on lipstick or lip gloss, but just about. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know when your lips taste good <laughs> i'm done <laughs> i'm done playing with y'all all right but y'all i went to the jacuzzi today it was really nice um portia i'm gonna invite you on real soon but you know i'm giving my little update yes so i went to jacuzzi today and it was relaxing i'm trying to i'm trying to go to the you know i'm trying to be in some type of water every week um because i think it's good for you so yeah, and I guess what I found? I found a little angel in the water. Like a little, like someone like, um, had like a Pandora or something. I don't know, they, they must have had a Pandora necklace or something or bracelet or something. And I guess that little piece popped off. And today I had a very spiritual day. You know what I'm saying? My day's been good, you know? I wake up, I'm grateful to be alive. No, yeah? Yes, and I and I was in the jacuzzi, and I I was like, wait, something under my toes. <laughs> I was like, is it a rock? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it is. I pick it up, and it was an angel with a heart in its hand. So that's just that's just telling me that it's telling me to keep the love in life. You know, a lot is going on. <laughs> a lot is going on, and everyone is questioning everything. Hey, but you know, we just have to remember that. There is a message behind the madness, okay? And a lot of us are waking up to that message. And I'm excited for y'all to just be here in this timeline of life. Listen, y'all, we are a part of history, okay? Hello. Um, yes, so all that is going on. I've been getting into a few other things. Um, randomly, I put up a I finally put up this bookshelf I haven't put up in about a year awkward right but listen timing timing okay timing all right <laughs> oh my god but yeah y'all i'm trying to be just really intentional about just these coming weeks it's it's freaking january okay and take a look at the outfit hello oh my god i just i just saw my piercing a little bit <laughs> anyway portia are you ready are y'all ready to get all in portia's business <laughs> I am so let me I'm gonna go ahead oh and what y'all do me a little favor y'all send this to y'all friends you know what I'm saying or send this to the, whoever y your family I don't know you look amazing thank you <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so extra but Portia I'm about to I'm about to request or you can request me when I work I'm ready hello me uh oh. <laughs> How are you? I wish I could see you, but hey, I don't know why I can't see you. That's so weird. Oh, I can hear oh, you. Oh, there you go. Okay, can you see, can you hear me and see me? I can definitely hear you. Okay, 
seeing you. Okay, wait. Okay, I see you. Okay, you're, you, you just did this. Yeah, now you're shaking your head. Okay, you're really blurry to me. I'm wondering if it's my Wi-Fi con connection, but this is where I always do lives. Mm. Let's give it a minute. Let's just give it a second. Let's just give okay, it a minute. Okay, it's oh. going to be getting better. So, it's yeah, let's give it a minute. Slowly but surely, but guess what? You are on the hot seat of hay. And you're on the hot seat. You're wearing blue. I'm wearing red. I feel like we're just <laughs> really tight. I just feel like we're really just giving ice, fire, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. oh Let me see if it's my Wi-Fi. Give me, give me a second. I don't think, I mean, my okay. Wi-Fi is not good. You think it's mine? We're going to get figured out. No big deal. Hold on. Let's see. I can still hear you, so that's good. All right, that's better. Whatever you did, I can now actually see you and hear you. It's always my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Well, we are in here, okay? Listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you why it's not working. Because, you know, we both got our page stripped away from us. So they're probably playing with us a little bit. But, you know, we are here. Yeah, we're here. It's fine. They can delay the connection, do whatever they want, but we're still here, and it's fine. I don't know what they're doing. They could delay the connection. They could be fucking their wife. They could be doing whatever they want, but they don't care. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but we're going to let them just sit there. But anyway, let's, let's just give it, let them know exactly who you are, what you do in this world, and just express your excitement for being here, because it's been a I realized that you should have been on this. I should have been on here and <laughs> I'm nervous and that's why I'm happy on this. <laughs> and that's a crying shame because I'm the last person in the world that should be nervous. But sometimes I watch and I'm like, oh, this does not hold back at all. <laughs> so, but anyway, everyone, if you don't know me, my name is. <laughs> I am the founder of Furletic Sensology. Um, my Instagram name is Free Furletic. It's kind of a long story. I lost my account, so I changed my name. I'm thinking about changing it back to Furletic Sexology, but all my other social media handles are Furletic Sexology. Mm -hmm. I am a sex educator, sex coach, and content creator. I primarily mm -hmm. work with women and femmes, and we work on making the connections between what our challenges are in our everyday mm -hmm. life what our challenges are in our sex lives and with our sexuality. So that's what I work on. I'm super excited to be here. I'm a little nervous. I got my, I got my wine just in case. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> I awesome. got my wine just in case. I hope y'all are sipping on. I know it's Thursday. We all got to mm -hmm. get up. Some of us have to work tomorrow, but you can have one. <laughs> and, and while you watch, mm -hmm. pop it up over here. All right, cool. All right, so you're you're you said you have wine. So are are you already a little? No, I, this is like my third sip. But okay. I okay. <laughs> okay. I thought you were gonna say this is like my third cup. I'm about to say, oh, she. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. All right, cool. A little bit tonight, but that's it. All right, awesome. All right, well, let's just get straight into it. One, just what is your sexual orientation? Just kind of give us that background so we can right, know sure. how to tailor these questions sure so I, I struggled to come up with the, to explain my sexuality i guess i would use queer I, or bisexual i'm attracted to who i'm attracted to i'm one of those i used to be one of those i don't like labels people but now i understand mm -hmm. like there are for my sexuality so those mm -hmm. are the words i would use to describe my mm, okay so you like dick pussy and everything in between. <laughs> yeah, love it all. <laughs> okay, we, we love that over here. We love that over here. That means we can just go. <laughs> all right. So the I don't know why I want to know this, but how long can your natural pussy juice stay wet? How long it grows it depends on the day. So if I am the no. Day. Like if I if I'm not hydrated, it might not happen at all. If I've been smoking weed, it might not be at all. Like I don't know. Oh. It, it's not just you. It's not just you. 
um but sometimes it'd be getting me extremely wet it just depends like you know yeah it does sometimes it does depend because i i have this theory right our mouths and our mm. pussies are very similar openings so mm -hmm. cotton mouth it makes sense that you get what i call cotton pussy when you smile <laughs> Because they're, they're sim it's similar, right? Mm -hmm. so sometimes when I feel super, I'm, I'm super happy, I feel very turned on, and then I'll reach mm -hmm. out. Girl, what are you, did you not want to show up to work today? Like, what's going on? Sometimes it was hard to get out of bed, you know? You can't just be showing up at work. No, I totally understand what you're saying. I totally, and it's, it, it is, they, they are connected. They are connected, definitely. Yeah. Like, for sure. But that's a whole other topic. But <laughs> so what is speaking of your juices, what is something that will get you wet like this? Dirty talk. Like someone close to my ear. Oh <laughs> saying that it it almost doesn't matter. You could be saying the alphabet, but if you have the tone of voice and you are my fucking this shit like all in here that so they could be they could be making absolutely no sense it is gonna be like oh wait wait <laughs> and I definitely pre-covid i've been in bars with people mm -hmm. and it's too loud for me to really hear what they're saying but the fact that they're so close to my ear and my neck i'm like can we go let's leave no I I understand. I under <laughs> trust me. I I it doesn't because it doesn't really matter what they're saying. It's just like, listen. All I need is the the human um breath. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's the, the vibration of the speaking. I think more so than like the words. Mm hmm. And it's and once that vibration, then it's like, click. it goes down. <laughs> yeah. It goes just like you ever like drinking wine and it just goes straight there. Yeah, Sometimes oh. that's what dirty talk can do. Oh, my my boyfriend is in trouble when we get off this live because if I have more than one glass of li wine, then he's gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she said one more glass and it's over, baby. <laughs> we might have to cut the thing short. Okay. All right. Speaking of that, speaking of that, what is your horny scale? Are you like top, like always horny every day? almost every few minutes you think about it or like what is your spectrum where are you on that if i had to go a one to ten mm -hmm. i would say three weeks out of the month i'm at a six but that week okay. right before my period i am on a 15. <laughs> 15 is a very good number <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that, but it's like, okay, okay. Most of the month, it's like, mm -hmm. no, whatever. Like, if you if you initiate it, I'm very responsive. Mm -hmm. But if, yes. if if I'm ovulating, it's, mm -hmm. you know, anything can happen. So you're really attuned to, like, what your body is telling you and, like, just that language. Okay, so let us, let us, let us, I said I was going to ask a wholesome question. <laughs> um, <laughs> we love those over here too, trust me. But um, so how do you stay like mindful during sex and like just give us like the real raw, like how do you do it? Let us hear what is your brain signaling? Like I need to know like that deep. So for me, I am one of those people that I have, I have to fight sometimes. Like, if I have a busy day or if I'm going through a stressful time, mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. hard for me to stay focused during sex. But mm -hmm. how people is, number one, focus on your breath. Take a few breaths and really focus on sending yes. them to your vulva or to your genitals, whatever body parts mm -hmm. you got, whatever mm -hmm. you call them. Right, um, right, and then right. Focus on your senses. So if you can say, hold on, Portia, or hold on, whatever your name is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Focus now, I need to feel more in my body. What's one thing I can smell, see, taste, feel, yes. hear? And that helps to ground me a lot. Um, I think making mm. myself be, I, talk, I was on live with um, Blair from Talk Period to Me earlier this week, and we were mm -hmm. talking 
about how, you know, as women, we're, we're trained to be more submissive. And that's something mm -hmm. I can honestly say that I'm working through is like, turning that off and learning to be more um, consistently active during sex. Um, mm. you get in a long term relationship, you know, you build, you can sometimes build routines unless you're conscious of them and you start breaking right. that. Um, so I think being on, being more active, like if I find that I'm not focused or I'm not feeling very mindful, if I'm on top, I can't help but focus because I'm fully in control of what's happening. So mm -hmm. things, focusing on my breath, focusing on my senses, and doing something where I am the active one mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in the conversation mm -hmm. yes okay cool though that is definitely i've heard that you know the breath words checking in with yourself words making sure that you do tap into all those senses um one thing that i've realized works for me personally and let me know if anyone else ever did this but i literally like i communicated my way into my own like relaxation so mm. but it was a way where I, I spoke to my partner first so what I did was I was just like listen <laughs> sometimes I have a hard time like staying focused during sex right <laughs> sorry <laughs> I just remember the, the look on his face but um but yeah I was just like sometimes I have a so I was like sometimes I have a hard time staying like mindful during sex so I was basically saying I asked him I said um, there's going to be times where I look like I'm zoning out and just don't, don't move. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I literally said, if I look like I'm zoning out, just don't move. Because sometimes it's when you're, you can, oh shit, you good? Okay. Sometimes it's when yeah, you I'm, are, I'm you, <laughs> shit, it's okay. So how about I don't, how about I don't, I don't miss it? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Or are we yeah. just like... <laughs> okay. No, somebody okay. call me. I'm sorry. That happens to me every Oh, time. no, no. It's, <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Okay, what was I saying? Okay, I can get back to it. Hold on. Oh, uh, I was talking about... Okay, so sometimes I notice when we are in the moment and we are in the zone, we just sometimes snap out of it. And then we can snap back into it and snap out of it. But sometimes we stay out. We stay on the like, wait, okay, I'm thinking too much. So sometimes, so when I, when I was, and then when you are in the zone, they do something to kind of get you out the zone, but not purposefully. Yes. Yeah. Not purposefully. But it is like, damn, like I was like doing this thing. That's why I was like, okay, let me try this new thing by telling him, listen, if I'm in the zone, just keep doing what you're doing. Sometimes I will dirty talk it and just say, just keep doing that. Just keep doing that, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's like, damn, I didn't want to dirty talk at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have to know yourself. Yeah. You have to know yourself. And because sometimes it's like, I can, you know, I can do a little dirty talk. You know what I'm saying? I could do that. But sometimes if I'm in the zone and I'm like trying to focus on my breath and do all that, what you're saying, make sure I'm speaking. I can't, what if he... He gonna try to turn me over as I'm trying to focus on my breath. And I'm like, right. oh shit, I gotta start over my oh. mindfulness practice. <laughs> shit, that's the, that's the whole thing because you do all this focusing really hard, but we all know you don't have you don't always have sex in one position, mm -hmm. or in one act, or things like that. Like there's movement, things like that. So I always advise people to try to be as mindful as you can outside. Yes. And that yeah. you get to sex or masturbation or whatever you're doing, you mm -hmm. have a little bit more practice. It, it's, it's definitely practice. So I don't know. That works for me. So hopefully that works for y'all. I, like I think that. it's a, I mean, I know you have a partner. So describe our, is the sex fucking amazing? Do, are you allowed to say it's not? <laughs> no, it's totally, no, it's totally fine. So I, on my, I just have a funny story, and he can. All right, we love stories. Go. He can probably hear me right now because he's in the other room, and he doesn't know this. So earlier this afternoon, we had a a little, you know, a four twenty break. Okay. And, um, afterwards, a flower run, a flower run. Yeah. After 
words. So not this account, but my personal Instagram account, I have a close, a close friends, you know, mm -hmm. and he's not on it. It's only my female friends and them friends. And I was talking about it on there today. And mm. <laughs> I do so, I do so every once in a while. And one of my friends was like, girl, would you stop? Like, please, you're making the rest of us look bad. You're making the rest of us feel bad. I was like, listen, I posted a five second story of what I looked like after I was <laughs> back together after, you know, a little fun this afternoon. Why are you eating? <laughs> I know, no, I, I get it. I get it. No, I totally get what you say. And I, I, I dig that. How do yeah. you feel? Do you, you're, do you feel empowered when you do that? Like, what is the, what, how, what is the feeling that you get? You know, I would compare it to this. Have you ever, <clears throat> have you ever had someone fuck you so good that you almost wanted one of your friends to just try it out? Because it's like, I need somebody else to <laughs> No? A hundred percent. No, a hundred percent. So sometimes when I get on Instagram, it's like, damn, like, that same feeling. I need to just tell somebody, or like when you have sex with somebody for the first time and it's really great, and you like before you even get all the way in the Uber, you're on the phone with your girl. Like, girl, listen. So <laughs> listen, I'm not even calling anyone. I'm journaling. I'm like, I don't want to ever forget. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me put it in Literally. my on the way home. <laughs> it's like that. For no, sure. for real. <laughs> oh my god, yes, I definitely think you are just. You're not selfish, okay? Like, I you want to care. You know what's possible for them, mostly. Mm hmm We love that. We love that. Don't don't take another sip now, because, you know, you're going <laughs> to turn into something we don't know with your man. We got time. We got a little time. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. I, I Disclaimer, I am not in <laughs> charge of anything. All right. What is your favorite toy? I just want to know. I just thought about it. This is so hard. I have to pick one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like, okay. Dead ass? Okay. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to spare you. Okay. <laughs> I have so many. If I okay. Okay, two. Top two. I can do two. So the ones I've been using the most... Mm -hmm. is the Gwen by Nude Society, which is a clitoral stimulator. It's a little, it looks like mm -hmm. a bar of soap. It's like the size of a bar of soap. It's green. Mm -hmm. It's very, mm -hmm. I'm a simple, like, I don't need anything with too many bells and whistles. I need to be able to push a couple of buttons and take mm -hmm. a press. Um, mm. that one has been heavy, heavy, heavy in my rotation for the last couple of months. Mm. Um, and the other one that I've been using is, I don't know the name of it. I just got it, but it is a, um, a G-spot clit, do, can I just, can, I wish I could go get it. I should have known you were going to ask me this. I would have came ready. <laughs> How far is it? You <laughs> it's not far. Just go get it. Go grab it. I can, I can, I can entertain the baddie. <laughs> Y'all, what, what, what should we, what should we ask her? Y'all, y'all here. Y'all, twenty-two people are here because y'all want to see some shit. So just go into the the question box and ask some questions, okay? Because y'all here for oh, we talking shit, <clears throat> okay? Okay. So <laughs> this is the one. Oh, <laughs> it's so simple. I like. I don't know how to describe it to you. It's so quiet. It's mm. simple. It has like 10 settings. There's only one button on it. She's, mm. we love her. Like, can't say enough about it. Oh, wow. Other one that I've been using. So I'm not an internal simulation kind of person unless it's an actual dick. Like, I've never yeah. been in a dildos or vibrators that are meant for insertion all about clitoral stimulation but this one i don't even know what this is called but it's by v for vibe oh, okay v yeah. for vibe yeah. you're the face on their website this <laughs> as soon as you go on there i would say really yes i was on there like two days ago and i was like oh shit <laughs> let me go take a look okay wait but, go ahead go ahead <laughs> but okay yeah this one is really nice Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is 
used for like insertion. This goes on the clip and it's got these like, I don't know if you can see that. These like. Mm, the, those little like bump, like ridges or bumps yeah. or. Yeah. And baby, yes. she has a remote. Oh, the remote is really vital. I've been realizing the remote is really useful when you like, you know, just in the moment. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Look how, I know you know, because I'm sure you have some of their toys, but look how luxe that, I'm a sucker for packaging. Like, the packaging is nice. So luxe. I, I, that's so crazy. So nice. The box is <laughs> Yeah. That's so crazy that you say that. You've been reading, you're a Pisces. We're really connected because literally, okay, we'll talk later. But <laughs> I, I literally threw away most of my sex toy boxes because I realized I was high like, because I get a lot, I'm just like, wait. I got about over 15 boxes, you know, like just, just laying and it, I'm like, okay, let me just get rid of the boxes. And I looked at Viper Vibes box and I was like, I yeah. can't get rid of you. Like, <laughs> that was just funny how you say that. Hmm? Certain boxes, I keep them. Somebody said I need to rework my budget for 2021. Yeah. Get you one. You this All right. We got some questions. Some of them some are asked, what's your favorite position okay bring it back old school for me this is for these are questions mm -hmm. oh, okay i guess for well for us i'm a big fan of missionary <laughs> i like to surprise from the bottom i think of myself as a power bottom on a good day and you know you can, you can fuck back in missionary you can be very active you can do a lot in missionary you know there's so a lot. Shit. <laughs> what, hold on, what, what you said? I said that, I would say that's my favorite. For me, oh my God, it's been so long. I have to, I have to reminisce. <laughs> I would say... Okay. My bad, my bad. They, they, my phone don't know I needed some extra time. <laughs> But I would definitely say doggy style. I just, mm. I love doggy style. But here's, this is how I like doggy style. I like doggy style with, like, right in front of the bed, with hands on the floor. My head has to be bent over, almost looking at my vulva, like, hey, bitch, how you doing? Um, <laughs> and I have to be, like, almost, like, almost about to fall, but knowing that I can keep my ground. I know it's weird, but it's, that's what I love. I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> I know, girl. I know. <laughs> when am I gonna be back like that? It's okay, because I've been, I've been basic. I've been actually celibate for a year. Wow! Like because of quarantine or by choice? Well, we were in We were not in quarantine this time last year. Honestly, a little bit of both. Okay. But <laughs> a little bit of both but quarantine definitely pushed me to make it to the year mark I think if court if COVID and all that stuff wasn't there I would have been fucking and ducking mm. but you know I, I kind of like laid off because it's about to be a year in about a few days because I think it was January 25th I'm telling you on my business January 20 or something around that time so we're gonna have that we're gonna I'll make sure to actually put that as an advertisement because that's a that's really that's a good accomplishment. When's the last time you had sex? Um, about four hours ago. <laughs> She's like, well, to tell the time, it is exactly <laughs> okay. Four hours ago, did you orgasm during? The yes, twice actually, which is a surprise. <laughs> I wasn't going for it. <laughs> oh, it's a surprise. Yes. So, ha but have you ever orgasmed more than once? Yeah, but I use, so, okay, so here's the thing. Let me back up, let me back up. Yeah. I do, this is going to sound wild. I, up until this point in my adult life, and I'm a person who started orgasming when she was 14, I have never liked my second orgasm. It's never as good, or it feel, it, it's always like my clit is still too sensitive, and it feels a little bit painful or just mm -hmm. so I usually am like mm -hmm. let me just wait for one big one 
let me edge myself mm. or have my partner kind of edge me for one big one and mm. take a nap, right? But <laughs> Knock the fuck out. <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna go to sleep. And I, again, <laughs> as I'm the kind of person who who you know, my mind wanders and I kind of have to fight to stay focused when I'm in partnered situations. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, for the most part, am mentally in mm -hmm. control of when about I orgasm. But mm -hmm. that was not the case. <laughs> the second time was not the case. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like for me, I feel like I really enjoy my second clitoral orgasm, to be exact. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're both but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, because, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think, I think I really like my second one. But my first one is amazing when I edge. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And then the, when I edge, then the second one isn't that great. Mm -hmm. But if I don't edge, if I just just get that one out and then the other one come out, I'll be like, Oof, whoa. I, I really feel like it's an accomplishment, honestly. Yeah. Now, do you do... So, back to back or are you like one and then like five minutes later two i'm like i have to do it as soon as i have the second one i mean as soon as i have the first one the second one because it's gonna it's gonna come if i just keep going i feel like taking a break i get too calm i get too much in the relaxed state and it's like my body needs to be like really like my, the type of orgasm I have is like I'm not I can't be too relaxed. I know it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of no, uh, well, yeah. Okay, you get it. I gotta be a little tense. I don't. Yeah. I have no clue. And I gotta be a little warm. I gotta be the perfect temperature too. Get a really good nut out of that one. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we get it. We get it. And so it is back to back. It's definitely back to back. Um, I love it that way. <sighs> See, I'm the opposite. If I have one. And then another one, the second one is always trash. It's always, you, I don't know how to describe this. I asked my partner, I was like, have you ever had an orgasm that like wasn't good? And he was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, I think <laughs> with vulvas, it's like, some of them can be okay. not bad, but like kind of disappointing. If that okay. makes sense. Um, like not as either not as long or not as intense. I've had some because I use so many toys like that have been kind of painful. Like it's like the line between pain and pleasure is like so yeah. sometimes if you're using a vibrator or a high a high powered vibrator. Mm -hmm. So the if I'm having multiple if I'm going for multiple orgasms, saying all that mm -hmm. I cannot do back to back because that second one is gonna be trash. But if I, I do, when you say <laughs> trash, it's like my mind just hears. You know when you dump something in your trash on the Mac, whatever. Like the do yes. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time you say it, it's like so. I'm just like I don't know why I'm having that connection. But okay, we're not gonna say trash. Okay, we're not gonna say. <laughs> Well, say disappointing or underwhelming, I guess is what I'm saying. Underwhelming. Underwhelming. It's just like, oh, I could have, like, got up and made a sandwich instead. Like, that's kind of how it feels to me. I feel like that can be our next post-collab. Underwhelming. <laughs> I'm not, I cannot be the only one who has had this happen. Sometimes the second one is underwhelming. <laughs> it's it's really underwhelming. Like no, I, I totally understand. I would say I appreciate all of my orgasms. I do because it didn't have to be there. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You're right. I would rather have an underwhelming orgasm than no orgasm at all. Right, and and it's like because me, like for me, I haven't like had a overwhelming um, orgasm from penetration right mm. i've never had an overwhelming one you know like just like oh, oh. i know no. not like <laughs> you, know, it. you know people be like really explaining it and it's just like okay maybe i'm just not expressive and i'm just like mm. but definitely i never had an uh, underwhelming one because i just really feel in my heart that <laughs> That orgasm was for a reason. And guess what? I'm still manifesting shit with that underwhelming orgasm, okay? Sex magic all the way. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, let, let me read some of these comments before uh, I get too lost. 
Yes. All right, so doggy style oh. with hands on the floor. I'm going all the way up. Oh. How are you finding celibacy? I ha for the first month, I think I had a little bit of the jitters, not going to lie. Like, because I was just like, when am I? Like, but I, I like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional until like the seventh month. But mm -hmm. I literally was like, because I felt like in my body, I needed sex every two weeks at the minimum. If I didn't have a partner, I needed it at least every two weeks, at the least. That's fair. And then now, I feel like I don't even really, like, I'm trying to get in connection with me. Like, mm -hmm. and I feel like I've got, I've gotten a connection with, 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 with I don't have a name. <gasps> For your vulva, we have to name your vulva. You have to name her. I have to name her, mine too, because mine doesn't have a name either. We're so disrespectful to our vulva. How are we not gonna give it an identity? She deserves more. She <laughs> <laughs> let me wait. Let me ask. Y'all have a name for y'all vulvas and um anything anything that you have or want to claim? Let's all Do name. Even, yes. You, even your strap ons. It isn't. Let, let's all name them. Oh God, this is gonna be a naming. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Yes, completely. Oh, wait, someone said they completely get the underwhelming one. Such a waste. It gets you so hyped just to let you down. Aww. That's how I be feeling. That's how I be. That's truly how I feel with the second ones. Except today, I was surprised. But I think this is the thing that I learned today. And this is why I love okay. sexuality. Because you're never going to stop learning. You're never. Go ahead. But the minute I, like let go and I wasn't trying to have a second one I felt mm -hmm. it on mm -hmm. like okay if I just gently go rub my clit extra mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I might have orgasm. and then I did then it wasn't me like thinking about it you know what I mean like trying to yeah at the end of the day Scotty uh -huh. her royal highness I <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That me no. The music uh Scotty has on um her YouTube video sometimes. It's very it's quite quite British. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well that's crazy. I'm really listen, I'm I'm really proud that you appreciated that second one for what it was. You know, today it you know showed up and showed out today. Well, we got some more questions. Hold on, I see four down here. Let me see. Let's just answer all of them. Mm. How do you get out of the funk when you're not in the mood for sex? I love this question. A lot of people mm. find that they just don't don't feel um, a pull or you don't feel desire or arousal. And mm -hmm. I think a misconception about what that's supposed to look like i think a lot of us feel like we're supposed to just like wake up and feel like mm, i feel like having sex today when largely that is not the case um especially mm -hmm. life a normal life where you have work and you have all these obligations like when is sex even going to surface in your mind um mm -hmm. so i say get really clear on what you need to go from not aroused to arouse right what do you need your mm -hmm. partner to say um, how do you want them to touch you i don't know what you but i cannot fuck in a dirty space i need my space to be clean i need there to not be junk everywhere because i'm going to be even more distracted <laughs> um, <laughs> I, um like what do you need to go from feeling like shit to wow, I really want to fuck. So get really clear on what those things are and also be realistic with yourself about what your arousal process looks like. A lot of people have mm -hmm. a responsive desire. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they're more responsive, meaning that your partner has to do something or initiate very slowly and gently in order for you to begin to feel desire. And that's normal. That's that's. Mm -hmm. That's the way most people respond um, in sexual situations. Yep. So get really clear on that and be realistic with yourself and be patient with yourself. Also, I don't know about you all, but um, 
I cannot go from zero to 100. Like, I can't walk through the door after work, see my partner, and, like, one <laughs> Rip the clothes off of him. Yeah. Some, sometimes, I always say, sometimes sex starts at dinner. Like, if you come home and you're having dinner with your partner, in two hours or maybe before bed, we'll have sex. Like, then you need to start initiating that then. So what do I mean by that? Maybe it's the way that you interact, things that you say, how you touch your partner. Are you hugging them? Are you making physical contact with them before you get to the moment where you're supposed to get into foreplay or whatever it is that you're going to do? Are you sending your partner, like, dirty texts while you're still at work? <laughs> like, what are you doing to... Mm -hmm sort of start initiating foreplay and start initiating um, sexual thoughts, feelings, desires within yourself and your before you even get to those moments. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. No, it makes it makes perfect sense. Um, like you're saying with the responses, um, desire, sometimes it takes that time and then there's spontaneous desire where let's just do it. Like, you know, just randomly, like let's, you know, or like, you can just get turned on really quick or you're just ready. Mm -hmm. You're just ready. You're, you could just view sex as fun, you mm -hmm. know, and just want to do it all the time. So it's very important that um, you kind of discuss the the foreplay and, or how you can get mentally ready for just any type of sexual thought, you know? So mm -hmm. like, what do you, what do y'all, do, do, do y'all have to laugh together? It could be something subtle. It could be just really anything uh, uh, uh the way you look at like y'all could discuss okay when i look at you like this <laughs> <laughs> when i look at you like this that means i want it and that can invite some playfulness what if what if you're a person that you're a little silly and sometimes it's kind of difficult for you to get into that you know mm -hmm. it's like you can get into there by just introducing what you need like you just have to dig deep distract your ego and find who you are in the bedroom. Like, who the fuck are you? I love, you know? I love that. And I think you're making a really good point because it's very personal. And we have mm -hmm. to get rid of the idea that it is, yeah, someone said end goal. That's really, that's really key too. We have to get this, mm -hmm. get rid of the idea that it has to look a certain way or I have to present myself a certain way. And also if you are, if you are in a long-term relationship, or you are, you may be on the first date. So for some of us, it's hard to go from sitting with our partner and talking about something platonic and then all of a sudden do a 180 and you're ready to have right. There has to be mm -hmm. a transition. So get clear about what that transition is for you. Is it like downright, like just blurting it out and saying it? Is it you need a right. foot rub first? Like I'm a huge fan of back rubs. Like such a huge fan of back rubs before sex because it mm -hmm. relax it helps me get into my body so that way mm -hmm. I don't have to you know worry about oh i was just talking to my man about the laundry and now all of a sudden i'm about to put his dick in my mouth like where's the in between <laughs> you know like get get clear on what <laughs> you and set it ooh, yeah and also just be open i think having a conversation oh, yeah. about not making it goal oriented like how can you have intimate moments and have intimacy and have sexual moments that maybe don't lead all the way up to sex or penetration or sex in the way that you think it's going to go i hope that mm -hmm. makes sense. like it could be like maybe you give him or him or her oral you, or they give you oral or whatever it is that you're going to do mm -hmm. sexual masturbation maybe you just end up making out and you don't actually end up making uh, making sex having sex <laughs> right right sometimes y'all just want like that that touch that like you know connection mm -hmm. maybe it's just you'll end up just probably kissing like you're saying and then and then you're like okay we got our we're done like you know like <laughs> that was all we needed you know and that happens all the time like it yeah. happens all the time and um another thing that i wanted to bring up too was um also know if you're a person that needs the action, like, be be wary sometimes if you're confused whether you want someone to touch you to get you horny or mentally stimulate you. Because a lot of people in older relationships, 
they would like the husband will like massage the shoulders and the lady is like oh you want this pussy and it's just like wait i thought that was the arrangement and it's just like damn that's that there's a miscommunication and it just because she could be feeling like i'm not ready and it's just like okay so it's hard to kind of see when that other partner is ready when you're like touching them to initiate so i will also say for someone if you're kind of if you just if you notice that you do that, I would say also um, try to figure out like a mental way that you guys can communicate with each other. That's not so, I guess, obvious if you don't want mm -hmm. and try to figure it out that way. What do you think about that? That's a really good point. I think that what you're the point you're making is really important because a lot of times in partnerships, people initiate sex the way they would like it to be initiated on them like what they do mm -hmm. for their partner what they're wishing their partner would do for them and that right right your like initiation love language right you you're right right sex in a way that works for you and you have to initiate sex in a way that works for them and vice versa right because mm -hmm. if you are like a walk up to someone and grab them and kiss them and that that person really responsive to that and they need something else it's not mm -hmm. it's not always going to work out and you may trigger them to be like oh shit this person wants to have sex and i'm not ready right and i don't know how to communicate right that I'm, i don't know how to communicate that i'm not ready yet right. I don't articulate what i need next and that's another language how are, how do you tell someone that you're not ready in the most non-rejection-y way you know <laughs> because a yeah. lot of people they feel so rejected when when their partner's not ready but it's like listen the partner all they're trying to say is they are not gonna fuck you the way you want it that you're they are gonna be out of it they are gonna be you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's, 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 they're gonna be faking which is not an emotion that they want to attach during sex so it's like really they're trying to look out for the relationship but it's like people don't know how to communicate that yeah yeah it's all about sexual self-discovery and exploration and learning how learning first what you want authentically and then learning to communicate that to your partners mm -hmm. yes okay let's we have some more questions i'm gonna boom them out because <laughs> all right so you can do you know where a male g-spot is the only male g-spot i know of is the prostate and that's located in the anus if that's right. a, i know you know People talk about P spots, A spots, W, X, Y, Z spots. I don't know. I don't know all the correspondences. I'm going to be real with you. So if that's how you talk about, I'm not sure what to tell you. But the, <laughs> as far as I know, is inside of the anus. Right. And um, I heard amazing things from that. I heard that their, their or, some of their orgasms shoots out like water. You know, when you're, yeah, yeah, so, yes, yes. So That's, it's like, it's something to be explored, but not everyone wants to explore it. You miss it. Let's talk about you. Are you into ass play? For myself, yes. Um, and a little bit with some partners, but no one I've been with has been completely comfortable. And that mm -hmm. makes me hesitant, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think it's a trust mm -hmm. I think it is a, like, again, it's one of those things that culturally is new. Mm -hmm. People have been doing it for centuries, right? But to be forthcoming with, like, that information is new. So it takes time yeah. to warm up to the idea and, and get into it. It's not my favorite thing to have done, to be quite honest. Um, I can't have my ass ate for, like, hours like some people just love it and i'm i'm not one of those people because i understand the power of my clit and i would rather you be over there so <laughs> you know i like I, every now and then i have like a really tiny butt plug that i'll throw in there sometimes which is nice if i'm being hit. i don't like wait <laughs> i don't like the way you said throw in there are you talking about your asshole <laughs> Yeah, throw it in <laughs> every now and then, you know. <laughs> I that she said that like that. I'm sorry. I was just like throw it in your bag, like, and then I had to realize she was literally talking. Throw it in her asshole. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
Well, that's cool. Do you like butt plugs? Yeah, like I or just the like one. I only use it now and then on myself, but mm-hmm. it's something that I like to make have in rotation. But it's not mm-hmm. a need. Got you. All right, let's see. Let's continue on with these questions. All right, your thoughts on coconut oil lube? As lube, I mean, we already know that. I mean, you already know with the oil. We already know with the oil, you want to be wary because, of course, with the um, condom. But if you're not using a condom, um, I think it's, I mean, I think it's fine. However, I did hear, I did hear, but I don't know if this is factual, which, um, which is like, for some people, I, well, I don't know if it's factual for, like, every, you know, vagina, but, like, it does, like, cause micro tears, um, and then we, micro tears can, you know, lead into other things, any type of, like, STIs and stuff like that or infections, so I would just say, you know, stick to the, stick, stick to the lube that <laughs> won't cause any issues, um, but, yeah, what, but I don't know for sure. What do you think, Portia? I can't really hear you that well. Can you hear me? Oh, shit. You're breaking up and you're frozen again. But I think I think I heard you ask about coconut oil lube. I yeah. coconut oil one of the first lubes I ever used on myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't used it in a while. I think that if you if you are in a position where you need it or you want to use something that you know it's all natural. You definitely should. Obviously, you know, there's the concern that was mentioned about using it with latex condoms or not using it with latex condoms, right? Because it it ruins the integrity of the condom and then you you don't get its intended use out of it. But I think it's good. I lo- Personally, I love oil-based lubes if you are careful with them because they can stain your sheets. Oil on your or, or your clothes is not, it's not good. But they last the longest, and they provide a lot of um, sensation and and slip. I guess <laughs> I will like slip yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, because sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> man, wa- water based lube be a scam. Sometimes I just be like, damn, I gotta keep using it. <laughs> I gotta keep using yeah. it. I'm gonna be done with the bottle by the time we're done fucking. <laughs> because yeah. I just wanna, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, I think. I don't know. Like, personally, I never used it. So I, I say, listen, try it out and let us know, okay? Yeah. Um, someone said that it coconut messes the pH. Could, could I've heard that it caused people's pH to be more, like, <laughs> on or something, whatever. I don't know. Listen, everyone is different, y'all. Y'all have to know your body, like, Everyone is different. It works for some people, it don't. So it's something that you have to try in the most safe way, you know? Right. Um, yeah, that's that's what I... They say, be careful of all base lubricants and silicone toys. That too, oh my gosh. The, let me tell you how much people need sex education. It's like... You're going to buy a $150 toy and then put an oil, put coconut oil all over it and just, you know, it doesn't like ruin it right away, but over time it will it right period it like i've personally i've never had a a, a toy ruined mm-hmm. by silicone um lube when i was not educated as enough but um listen if, if it happened to somebody it, it could happen to you we don't really want nothing to be going on like hello listen if, you, if your toy if it's waterproof or not, you need to you need to make sure you know. Cause I, I heard a re- a horror story recently. I don't want to, like. <laughs> oh no. I mean, if, if it's not water, if it's not waterproof, and you've taken it in the bathtub with you, <laughs> you may get a little zing zing zing. <laughs> that must be gonna be electric. Oh, okay. Let me stop playing with people. Um. Okay, we have. I have a few more questions for you. Okay. Let me see. Let me see which ones. Oh wait, just let me answer the the community questions. What? Okay, okay, okay. I see. <laughs> How can a smaller guy please a woman if he doesn't have a lot of experience? So great positions for um people who have smaller penises or or anyone who 
to increase depth. Let's say that um, it doesn't matter the size of your penis is if you do missionary with a pillow or something to lift the hips, it will automatically mm -hmm. feel like um, it is deeper. I think the position you mentioned at the beginning, standing up doggy style, like have your partner bend over and like touch their toes. That will definitely help a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Don't feel like, you know, the penis is all you have to offer. 73% of people with clitorises or, or vulvas orgasm through clitoral stimulation. So if you feel like, you know, your partner's not that satisfied with your size, the, then try those two positions, but also focus on the clit because that's ultimately where the orgasm for the majority of people with vulvas comes from. And ask your partner, be, if you, if you, are not physically endowed, which I don't. I don't think that should necessarily be an issue, um, because there are always workarounds. But if you are not physically well endowed, be a great communicator. Like learn to communicate with your partner. That's the most important part of sex and intimacy is being a good communicator, regardless of what your body looks like, regardless of what right. or anything else. Be a good communicator. Find out what they're. Yeah. What I mean, like, yeah, definitely. Could you can be a good communicator, and you could even ask your partner what position do, does it feel the best in? Because it's not about what position is hitting the deepest. Because what if what if she doesn't or whatever whoever? What if they don't care for deep? Maybe they just want you know, like because everyone is so different. It's so important to ask, and it's a normal question what position do you like the best what position hits the spot that you want it to hit because you trying to aim left but her spot is right <laughs> right we gotta talk about this we, we need to talk about this you know so you can do that um also a, a position that i that i have um definitely would work recommend that is sorry sorry for anyone who don't who can't bust it for more than a minute <laughs> if you can't bust it for more than a minute this position isn't for you but it's basically like they're laying dead on the floor <laughs> you're talking about me girl because I, <laughs> I felt it i was waiting she's just like she's laughing and she's like looking nervous I'm like, <laughs> but no can't. this is but she, you can't bust it for more than a minute Unless I'm holding on to the wall. She has to be holding on to Jesus. <laughs> I need to hold on to a higher force. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. The wall. So you said unless you're holding on to a wall. Yeah, a wall or headboard. I need something to stabilize me. See, my position is basically you just get on the floor. They lay straight down really flat. Um, or they can make it comfortable how they want. Get them really hard. Listen, you, if you really want to, you got to get them, you got to get them really hard because there's a difference. You have, you have a flaccid, right? And then they're hard, right? Say if they're hard, but sometimes, depending if their um, pelvic floor is strong, they can be hard, oh. you know, where it's like rock hard, a lot of blood, and they're, and the the size if you need a size if you're worried about the size that then that will make it really like filled with blood and then you're bouncing on top of it you get to control how deep it goes and because and you know and then that's how you do it or you can um y'all need a okay that's why y'all when it comes to riding purchase a sex uh, a something to help y'all ride don't just give up on riding because it's a mental thing Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of y'all knees not that bad. If it was a life or death situation, y'all y'all would be riding the dick for ten minutes, okay? But it's a mental thing, so that's why if you do incorporate like some type of sex objects or something to help you, I know there's something that like, or they could your partner could also help you ride it too. Like because there's a lot of shame. Listen, there's a lot, of, and then he can figure out what what's the best way for him to handle all of that ass. Or even if you, no matter what size, it's like, y'all have to come together. Sex is, it is personal. You are, you know, doing your own thing. But it can be so bomb if you let go of any type of, like, I can't do's and just try to make it happen. But riding dick isn't for everyone. 
Yeah, no, it's it truly is <laughs> our pillow princess. Like I can I if we were to set a timer right now, I don't know how long I can can bounce like that <laughs> without holding on to something. Truly, like, and I'm a person who, like, works out, I squat, but, like, competitive, like, and then you gotta roll your hips and stuff, like, it's work. See, see you be doing the most too quick. You gotta stabilize yourself first. <laughs> then pull out the rolls once you have your... <laughs> I can't. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is a what should we purchase for writing? Okay, so as far as purchasing things, you really don't have to purchase something, but there is like sex furniture that, that can help you. You just have to Google it because there's there's options out there. Um, and you you can just hold on to anything. A lot of times too, if you put your elbow on something, you could still, you could put your elbow on like some type of dresser or like the, if you wish to purchase something that's like your height when you're riding on the floor though this is on the floor mm -hmm. then your elbow your elbow and your hand can take off some of the weight off of your knees and then you can definitely like switch it up like <sighs> oh wait I'm, so wait can we back up because i yes. i'm thinking you're talking about feet on the floor are you talking about feet on the floor or yeah feet on the floor Okay, all right. Feet on the floor. Proceed. <laughs> Feet on the floor because a lot of people, and the thing is, if it's not a position that you like, nine, sometimes sometimes uh, your other partner don't like that position too. I know there's some partners that love that position and then that's when the mm, shit comes in. But sometimes you're putting the pressure on yourself, hopping on the dick and or hopping on the, the um, strap on and, you know, like, and they probably just like I've literally like had a situation where it was a miscommunication. The the person, the the girl, she was just she was just wanting to she just wanted to ride <laughs> and do what you know, do that thing that everyone talks about. And then her partner just end up saying, like, oh no, you ain't even gotta do that. I was like, Why am I here? <laughs> Why am I here? You know? Because it's like that's how that's how, like, the communication. So even ask your partner, is this a position you like? Sometimes they probably like, nah, your booty bone just stabbing the hell out of my hip. And it's just like, oh, shit, okay. Like, you know? So <laughs> you're the communication queen. So I feel like you definitely understand everything that's going on. I got you. Yeah, they're with you. Except for the knees. Like, I just, <laughs> I need I'm the walls. They glad. Listen, it's a it's a it's a revolution with the knees. We're gonna get it together because I really feel like we can learn. Like everyone, okay. I just feel like I just feel like I just love writing. Like I just I don't know. But um okay. Let me see. Let me see. What what else questions that I have for you? We just, we just got off on so many topics. But um okay, do you have any kinks? Oh, you froze again. Sorry. What about now? You think it's okay. Me? Okay. <laughs> um, do you have any kinks? I can't. Yeah. I'm about to just I'm about to I just type it. <sighs> <laughs> I need help. Hello? Can you hear me? I can. You just sound really like pixelated. Every time you speak, the last like two seconds. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Give it a yeah. second. Who said I can hear you both perfectly? You can fine. hear me. I can hear you. Someone said you both are clear on my end. Okay. I guess you could just answer that question. Answer the question. Okay. I think I heard that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Had a sex buddy over the summer. How should I reach out again? Celibacy isn't working out. Hmm. 
that's a tough one because I always want to know more because I'm so nosy. But mm -hmm. I mean, I say just go for it. I've been in a relationship for almost four years because my partner decided to just send me a very quick text that was like, hey, I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. And it was very, very informal. So, you know, shoot your shot. Don't be scared. But don't make it about necessarily about sex out of the gate. I think you should just inquire about how the person is doing first. Celine, you appear to be back. I can see you. I, I'm back. You're moving. I can hear you. Yay! Okay. okay. I was really waiting. I just felt like, look at her, just just doing her thing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay awesome. Okay, good. Um, okay, so for my answer with this, how to sex buddy over the summer, how should I reach out again? You know what? Honestly, you just got to deal it. I'm not going to even try to give you any other way to do it. You just, you just got to do it. Um, because why not? What is holding you back? Like, you know, like, like I know, I know, I know you were like, you want to know more. I'm a person that want to know more too. Um, <laughs> I know I, I'm a person, but I just think because it is something very simple, if you was to really think about it, and sometimes life is very simple, but we do overcomplicate things. But when you start to get back into that simple mindset and just be like, wait, I need to tell myself this is simple. I'm just going to text this person. And like you said, have a regular conversation. And depending on your personality, you have to know your personality. Mm -hmm. If they, if, if, if you're the type of, if you're the type of person that just want to get to the point, then I feel like definitely um, communicate in a respectful way, you know, because you don't know what's going on on the other person's life. Sometimes people go through things tragic and they're just like, this person's just popping up wanting pussy and I just, you know, went through something. So normally and then, but know your personality and get into how you want to communicate with that person for sure. But, you know, I love details too. So hey, you can hit me in the DM and tell me some more details and then I can help you out. For sure. All right. But definitely love your advice. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not true. It, it's not, not every girl do, but it do, it smells good though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I have used it, but I do not use that anymore. Uh, no. I think a lot of people use it because it's really gentle on their vulvas, which is, which is true. Um, but no. I do not. Yeah. That's what yeah. Um, it's crazy because, like, what this is something crazy. A, a lot of people, they add, I know this is going over time, but I think this people need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, kicked off right now. Hmm? How are we not getting kicked off right now? I oh. think you can go over it. I think you can actually go over an hour now. Honestly, oh. I, I've been seeing people and I'm like, hmm, this is over 60 minutes. I said, let me try it. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. So, um, but yeah, honestly, with the Dove Sensitive Soap, um, a lot of people, they would, they would not advocate for it. And then some people, they do. And it's so funny because I know someone that has a very, very sensitive vulva. And when she used... Uh, like a um, an organic wash, so one of those ones that have like a, just a few um, ingredients in there. You you know everything. It's lavender. It's this. It's that. She said that actually burned her, and the dove is what really works. And I was like, I'm confused. Like, what are you saying to me? But it it <laughs> it's really like that. So I'm just like, I'm a little still confused of the dove. Mm. Um, but it's like then again. It really depends. Oh, I hate that life is not one answer. <laughs> yeah, ultimately, it, it's what works for you. If you're using a soap that has, like, straight essential oils in it, like, anything that's, like, claims to be organic, but it's, it's, it's too pure a version of whatever oil or I can't think of whatever what word I'm looking for. But, yeah, that's not good to put on your skin in general, much less your honey pot and your good girl. That's not... That's not where that's supposed to go. That's not a gentle cleanser, you know? But um, somebody said washing your vulva with soap is a no-no, right? I use a mild soap, like, when I'm on my period and maybe once a week. 
on the outside of my vulva, so my leg, mm -hmm. Laura, and then I rinse it off, and then I use my fingers and I clean inside of my, it's like between my drawer and man, menorah, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, no, so it makes sense. When I talk about soap, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some people don't use any soap at all. That's absolutely, absolutely fine. I tend to sweat down there quite a bit. <laughs> and I'm not going to the store as much and I'm not getting I'm not um, shaving or waxing as often so I sweat quite a bit so I use a little bit of soap down there just to keep everything the way it should be yeah definitely a gentle cleanser I'm like 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 she was saying it really depends uh, I'm still on a journey for the, the perfect um, cleanser but um, it's just <sighs> it's it's one of those things and it it saddens me that we don't like <laughs> know for sure like what to do like you know like a hundred percent because for one person it's one thing for another it's another so it's just like it kind of saddens me just the 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 edge just the knowledge what's out there is still being like still skeptical you know yes but that's what we're here for um they said yes yeah, sub on the pubis is cool um but actually inside water is best keep your ph balance on um intact um and also one thing that i heard too was that there's some water like some people they live in certain like areas and some of their water has more like fluoride in it and i realized that that caused people some um issues too with um bacterial vaginosis and you know like oh um, yeah the water the water that like something you can't even control what you gonna do pour fiji on your body every day have to get like a a brita filter on your shower like what? like what what do we have to do like what i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know um okay do you like tasting yourself yeah I think I think I do like my so I the last three partners I've had have all had beards so I love mm. going in for a kiss after someone has gone down on me <laughs> all of that I don't mind it to be quite honest some people are kind of like not really into that that's fine you're allowed to not like it but I don't mind it Hmm. Okay. All right. And um, what is your okay? I I'm I'm gonna ask this question. Like I'm gonna make a post about this. But I was basically I wanted to ask people what what do they call their whole shower? So the shower that's like really quick before you like do whatever we do. You know what I'm saying? What do you call it? I call mine a donkey shower. Don't ask why. I don't know. Like it. I don't know. But what do you call yours? I call it a bird bath. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, it's called a bird bath. That's what my mom used to call it. Even when I was a kid, if like I didn't have a lot of time to get cleaned up, she's like, go take a bird bath. That's what she calls it. I like it. I like it. Okay, in the comments, what do y'all call it? Because I want to make a post about it. And I want to just like, just put all of these like different way like different things it's just like uh, i don't know i just think it's kind of cool how everyone grew don't up funny. you know <laughs> and, it's probably, so and, 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 it, and it does start from like your family because like when you when you when they tell you to take that quick shower they gotta name it something and then you now you call your whole showers that oh god <laughs> look at this what is going on <laughs> all right i love that bird bath i love that maybe that's what you should call your pussy or is that dirty <laughs> i'm gonna call it birdie <laughs> I, I still have to name mine uh, I know you gotta find the right name can y'all give me some names please like <laughs> I need to figure it out let's see if they're gonna help let, and we're gonna see if they're help, gonna help me out do you, All right. porn? Do you watch porn uh -huh. watch porn I do, I do. who is your favorite performer if you know names I could know names better, but I do know names. Think about it, figure it out, and that's your pussy's name. <laughs> I 
I feel like I have to Google her really quick. Let You're all see. Morgan, and her name is Morgan, the porn star. It's Morgan. Is it Morgan? Okay, I'm gonna, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all know. <laughs> Let y'all. What, what is your what is your favorite um porn star name? Oh man, that's hard. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Honestly, I think, what mood are you gonna get into tonight? What mood are you gonna get into tonight? Oh man, I, I'm getting into skincare and sleep mood tonight. But maybe <laughs> Kira, Kira Noir is a great one. Love watching Kira Noir. Somebody said Sasha mm. Gray. Um, for my old school lesbian porn watchers, Molly Cavalli. Um, who else? Who else? Um, see, I only watch girl girl porn, to be honest. I don't watch any men. Oh. Um, if you're into, uh, what is it called? It's called like Magic Productions. And it's oh. black women. And <laughs> Miss Natural. I don't have to say anything else. If you know, you fucking know. If you don't, worry. Wait. It's a Google. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm gonna have to ask. Okay, is that the the one that's like? Okay, is it the? It's not the one that's like dykeish. I guess you would say. And like, she's the one that's really, and she has like the nipple piercing. No. Well, maybe she is. She's big. Oh wait, is it the one? Is it the light skin one that's like kind of skinny? And um, she's like a constant one in there. Yeah, she has a lot of tattoos. Um, oh, that's great. I think I'm. I'm gonna send you. I really think I know. I'm gonna send you a link. I don't have no problem sending you a link. Oh shit! Okay, back backstage, you are gonna send me the link. <laughs> yeah. All right. H. So. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have you pick some. I have some cards here. Okay. And I just want you to just. Pick one. I, I know some of them are the same, but oh wow, you can't tell the color. Okay, but just I'm gonna point at it and you let me know which one you want. That one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we have. <laughs> All right. Because <clears throat> I have I have some notes here for this card. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna do something evil and <laughs> you're just like, what? Okay, so you can either show us an orgasm face, lick your lips for us in the sexiest way, <laughs> moan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> or give us a really sexy wink. And don't try to force a wink because I know I know a bitch that don't wink when <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well I All right. Okay, I'm gonna give you Damn, it's all of that's hard. So orgasm face, moan, wink. What was the other one? The one was lick your lick your lips for us in a very sexy way. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> all right, I'll try. <laughs> I'm already laughing. Wait, hold on. Let me move this thing so the people can see everything. Go ahead. Mm hmm Yes! Yeah, you better fucking do it! You got a double one. Yes, we love that over here. Thank you so much for coming on. Do you still feel, like, nervous? No. I don't. It was not... It wasn't that bad. See? It's not that bad. It really isn't. <laughs> this is not that bad. And I'm here... And I'm here to make everyone feel non-judged and comfortable. And you you already know that that is the sex community. Like, that is what we're here for. So I just want to thank you so much for coming on. It has been truly a blast. And I'm sure everyone is going to want you to come on again. So if you ever feel led to come on again, please do, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Later. <clears throat> all right everyone that is it that was amazing i think that was so fun and we learned we learned because that's what we do over here and yeah it was just fun y'all know y'all know <laughs> all right um i just want to thank y'all for just being here i want to start doing some more lives that's i guess a less less risque um, I want to start tapping into more deeper topics in the future. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to replace the hot seat or just like do a hot seat like on a, I mean, do a live on like another day. I don't know. I feel like if I have two days of doing a live, I don't know how the consistency is going to work out there <laughs> because yeah, but I don't know, but I do want y'all to just stay tuned for that. It was such a blast having Free Froetic on and y'all go ahead and give her a follow if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. All right. Later. <laughs>